The Dallas Stars and the Seattle Kraken playing game seven for a chance to go on to the Western Conference Final. It's two words that just send everybody to the edge of their seat with anticipation of what's to come. Crowd screaming, towels waving. 7.33 left in this third period. First to it is Wyatt Johnston, and a backhand, he scores! Oh my. What a shot, what a shot! Wyatt Johnston upstairs, how big is that? Makes it a 2-0 lead. And this terrific star season still has more to come. Breaking news, stay at home. That is the order tonight that the coronavirus pandemic spreads. New announcements overnight of events being postponed or canceled and young athletes robbed of their chances to shine. When the pandemic shut down the sports world in 2020, Wyatt Johnston was 16 years old. In the midst of his rookie season with the Windsor Spitfires of the Ontario Hockey League, I mean, there's, you know, hard times in life and, you know, missing a full year of hockey due to COVID. Um, I mean, definitely wasn't how, you know, I would have written it up and definitely wasn't what I was wanting. Due to restrictions in Ontario, Wyatt would miss his entire draft eligible season, putting his development at a disadvantage. For me, it was just, you know, staying motivated and and training to the best of my abilities. You know, it made it tough through, you know, all the lockdowns and, you know, all the things going on with COVID to you know, be able to be on the ice and be able to train and go to the gym. So built a rink in my in my backyard, a little shooting pad where I'd be able to go out. And other than that, many outdoor rinks that, you know, were, were open at the time, I'd be able to get out there. And I mean, it was just kind of doing whatever I could to, to stay, you know, motivated and, and stay getting better and, and, and preparing for when hockey started back up. After more than 400 days away, Wyatt finally returned to competition in April of 2021, representing Canada at the World Under-18 Championships hosted in Frisco, in what would be a crucial showcase with the NHL draft just two months away. That tournament was huge. Um, I mean, I was really you know, happy and confident with, with my game at the time, and I was really excited to be able to play some games and be able to show the, the improvements I, I made throughout the uh, the COVID break and, and you know everyone kind of knew what was at stake not only you're you're playing for you know for yourself to kind of you know help with your your draft stock but I mean at the end of the day everyone wants to win and you want to win a gold medal for your country so it was an amazing experience. Gold is coming back to Canada. Even with a short sample size to evaluate Wyatt made quite an impression on STARS director of amateur scouting Joe McDonnell who was adamant they select him with their first round pick. Sometimes there's a gut feel, and Joe McTonnell had that gut feel. I, I challenged him all the time. I said, Joe, you know, are you sure this is a guy? Uh, Joe did a lot of homework, talked to a lot of his coaches, his former coaches. In the end, it was the right call. The Dallas Stars are proud to select from Windsor of the Ontario Hockey League, Wyatt Johnston. His family is pumped. This is an amazing story for a guy who really had a seven game audition in his draft year. Watching remotely while surrounded by family, Wyatt was picked 23rd overall, and in that instant, his dream was realized. I mean, it was, you know, a really, really happy moment for me and my family, just being able to see kind of all the, the hard work, all the sacrifice, and, you know, everything that goes on to, you know, trying to make it to the NHL and, and, and get drafted to the NHL. Johnston, Riggs, Curl scores! Johnny on the spot again! Wyatt would return to Windsor the following season, setting the OHL ablaze, leading the league in scoring while receiving the Red Tilson Trophy as league MVP. It was the first season in, in, in a while that I was, you know, had the chance to play and so many great memories, so many great friendships made and I'm so thankful for, for my time in Windsor and looking at the season as a whole, it was, it was an awesome year. Entering Stars training camp in 2022, Wyatt was an intriguing prospect, and that September he would continue to shine, cracking the opening night roster at just 19 years old.
Anytime you're one of the leading scorers in, in junior hockey at that age, you got something special going. It became really clear that he was going to fit with us, he was going to make us better, he was going to help us, and we needed to keep him. I mean, the goal for me was to make the team. For me, it was just kind of having that mindset of, you know, being the best I can every day, and, you know, fortunately, that worked out. Score! It's Wyatt Johnston! The 19-year-old rookie in his first NHL game has NHL goal number one. Wyatt had a scintillating start to his NHL career and continued to amaze his teammates, coaches, and the entire hockey world throughout his rookie season. I think we're looking at a future absolute stud. The thing with Wyatt is he just kept getting better and better. You know, he would go out there and do things that uh, would make us all go wow, and you know, just a special player, special talent. Obviously, I had a ton of fun just kind of being able to live out my dream and, and playing in the NHL, and just so many great teammates, players, staff, coaches, you know, really helped, made that first year for me, you know, really amazing and really special. During his time in Dallas, Wyatt has been living with Joe Pavelski and his family in what has been a unique mentorship that has proved pivotal in his adjustment to life in the NHL. There's so, so many things that I've learned from him um, on the ice, off the ice, but I think one thing is just kind of the way he goes about his business day in, day out. And yeah, I think I try to do my best to kind of follow him and see what he's doing and learn from him. I mean, they're so awesome to me and, and we made some, some great memories and had some great moments. And um, yeah, I mean, I can't thank them enough for, for what they've done to help me and um, you know how supportive they've been and you know just making me feel at home here in Dallas. Been a lot of fun having him at the house, that's for sure. You know, it's a pretty laid back household, especially with him around it. You know, there are some late nights after games where we're sitting there and can't sleep, so we'll be you know, talking through the game a little bit or certain plays or watching a TV show. So there are there is some different conversations that way, but it's just easy and relaxed. Johnston upstairs, what a goal! Now in his sophomore season and still the youngest player on the team, Wyatt remains driven to advance his game while continuing to learn from the older players around him. At the end of the day for this year, my goal is to, to come in and, and help be a contributor for the team. Obviously, my goal is to win a Stanley Cup, and, and that's the goal of, of the Dallas Stars, and that's my sole focus, be a guy that can be counted on and get the job done when I need to.